Hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> we are, this is day 15, 15 of our testimony challenge. We're halfway. Halfway. We're, we're making our way through March, sharing testimonies every day. And it's just been so encouraging. It's been encouraging for us to remember just so many amazing things that the Lord has done through our lives, throughout our lives. And it's also been so good to um, hear the testimonies that you've been writing in, that you've been sharing with us. We love reading those. Uh, please keep that up. We love it. Um, and we've had, as uh, someone wrote in uh, yesterday, we had prayed for them earlier in our testimony challenge. And um, they wrote in yesterday saying that they weren't, they were healed, they weren't having any problems anymore. So God is just on the move, he's working, and it has just been amazing everything that he has been doing. Yeah, so much fun. Yeah. We, um, so keep them up, uh, keep commenting, keep sharing testimonies. Yes. Uh, all, all of the above. I know if you've been watching this every day, you probably think we're being a little redundant, but I know that there may be some that just are watching for the first time. And so we just want you to know that, um, uh, that we love it. Every comment, every yes. prayer request, all of it, keep it coming. And if you're watching this for the first time, this is our testimony challenge where every day for the month of March, we're getting on here uh, either live or pre-recorded, but sharing a different testimony of things the Lord has done. Yes. And uh, and then today, um, are we ready for it? I guess so. Yeah, so you want to share your testimony. Yeah. So today's testimony, uh, I would say, um, I'm bad with time, but probably about three or four years ago, we were on an outreach uh, with our church uh, doing what we would call Friday night outreach. And... Anyways, we uh, had, I believe it was a word of knowledge for, um, oh, you guys are going to have to help me. Because I feel like we prayed for him multiple times, but I think it was his wrist, but also his knee. It was knee. his knee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And anyway, so we approached him and he actually worked for the city. And anyways, and we approached him, it was nighttime. And we asked him if he had any of these things that we were sensing, and he did. His knee was hurt, and his wrist was hurt, and we were able to pray for him right that second. And I mean immediately, yeah. right that second, he was completely healed. All knee pain gone, uh, all wrist uh, pain gone, and he just, he already knew the Lord, but he was just so excited that the Lord was, that he was on the Lord's heart that night. And that he got healed. The fun thing is, is that we've done outreaches for a very long time downtown. And we see him all the time. And every time we see him, he comes up, yeah. uh, gives us a hug. And he always says that his knee and his wrist are fine. I mean, it's been years. And not one problem since he's been doing wonderful. <laughs> I mean, isn't that amazing? Yes. You know, uh, I think what's encouraging to us, it's not, uh, maybe just speaking for myself, it's not that... I doubt, but a lot of times we minister to people, we pray, the Lord touches them, they say they're pain free, but then we never see them again. Yeah. But here's someone that we see time and time again, multiple times a year, and, and continually to this day is completely set free from pain. Isn't that yes. amazing? Yes. It is so, so good. And, um, and so we just love it. Yes. So what we want to do is we want to pray. I mean, we just heard a um, testimony about a, a, someone being healed of wrist, wrist and knee pain. And um, this whole testimony challenge, why we're doing this is one was we want to share the goodness of God, the faithfulness of God. We've had so many different uh, types of testimonies, financial testimonies, salvation testimonies, um, finding lost thing testimonies, yeah. healing testimonies. And the reason that we're doing it is, is, is one, to share the goodness of God. But Revelation says that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy, which means if he's done it before, he can do it again and he will do it again. And so we're sharing these to build faith so that when um, this testimony is shared that of somebody being healed, that it releases faith and it releases that spirit of prophecy that if he did it, then he can do it again. And if he did it for him, he'll do it for you. If he did it for me, he can do it for you. And so to build that faith and just to declare that, that if you're needing healing in your body, if you have specifically, this testimony was about um, wrist and knee. If you 
are having pain in your body, in your knees or in your wrist, that the Lord wants to heal you. He wants to bring supernatural healing uh, to your body right now. And sharing this testimony is prophesying it over you that if he did it for this man, he will do it for you too. Yeah, so, so good. The other thing that, because uh, I know there's a few watching right now yeah. that we wanted to do tonight um, uh, while we're praying is and turning on hopefully sure. we can yeah. see comments i think we yes, should be able to but if you are wanting any type of ministry prophetic ministry yes or or anything of that sort just comment and we're like live yes. right now we're yes we're we want to prophesy we want to prophesy over you we want to encourage you we want to pray for you so if there is if you're needing healing in your body if you're needing some kind of breakthrough some kind of miracle in your in your life financial breakthrough um, we want to pray for you. So just go ahead and begin to comment and we want to pray for that. Or if you're just saying, Hey, I just need some encouragement. I just need a, a word from the Lord for my life. Then go ahead and comment. Cause we would love to pray for you and, um, encourage you with that as well. Yeah. So, yeah. and then the other thing we could do is just start calling out if you have any, um, yeah. words of knowledge for anybody who's watching now, or for those that may be watching, some of you may be watching this later. Um, but we want to, yeah. To, we want to see some some miracles and we want to see I know the Lord wants his his people he loves us so much and he wants us to be healthy and whole uh, physically emotionally spiritually yeah. all of that and before we start calling that out let's uh, let's just pray right now yeah. for anyone that is having wrist or knee pain yes because uh, that was the testimony for today so we tell anyone that's been having uh, wrist pain. Uh, I feel like there may be someone that's been ongoing for a long time and you just can't kick it or it's stiff or it just hurts or especially in the cold weather and, and also yeah. knee pain. And we just, we just say be healed that's in right. Jesus name right now. Every bit of, every bit of pain go yes. and, uh, in the knee, uh, also, uh, full flexibility, yes. uh, just right now, complete healing in Jesus name. Yes. All right. So do we have any? All right. We're going to call out some words of knowledge. And just again, if you are needing prayer, just put it in the comments and we will pray for you. Or if you're needing a prophetic word, some encouragement, just comment and say, say, I want a word and we will, we will uh, encourage you. Yeah. So, Good. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right. What have we got? I got, um, specifically that, that God wants to tell someone that no matter what it is, it's not too small to be a prayer. And it's, it's like I, you guys might want to go over some, but like I know us three have had so many miracles that like to other people it wouldn't matter, but to mm -hmm. us it, it meant the world and that, that God wants to do that for you and like your prayer request isn't too small and that's, that's not a thing to God. It's just as important as like someone having a surgery as whatever is you're going through and nothing... I know I'm repeating it, but I really want to get this point through that nothing is too small for God. We always say that's that so nothing's good. too big, but nothing's also too small. And he cares mm -hmm. about the little things and cares about the little details of our lives. That's yeah. so good. That's so good. Um, I feel like God is healing migraines right mm -hmm. now. Um, and so if that's you, just say, hey, that's me in the comments, whether now or later. It doesn't have to be live. Um, I feel like God is healing uh, those that are having nightmares at night or night terrors uh, or or also it's almost like you just can't get settled at night and he's healing that right now um, it, yeah. the Bible says that he gives rest to those he loves and that's a promise of ours and so we speak that over you right now um, I feel like he's healing depression right now and yeah. discouragement and uh, and so that's you that that God is literally lifting that. We actually uh, have a testimony of that, that from just this Sunday where a lady uh, had yeah. come a few weeks ago to our church. She didn't even tell us, but she came to church. She passed by our service, stopped, was depressed. We didn't even know what we were praying for. She just came up for prayer at the end of the yeah. service and then came back 
weeks later this past Sunday and said that all the depression had left since that Sunday. And so God is healing that right now. Yes, that's so good. So if you're watching, if you're needing any kind of prayer, if you're needing any kind of healing or breakthrough, financial breakthrough, whatever your need is, we want to pray for you. So put it in the comments. Or if you are just wanting a prophetic word, an encouraging word, we would love to um, encourage you. Just, just put in the comments. Hey, that's me. I want a word, um, whatever you want to put, but we, we want to pray for you. Um, I also, um, I feel like ovarian cysts that, um, God is wanting to heal that. So if that is you, we just speak to your body right now and say, be healed in the name of Jesus, yeah. be healed in the name of right Jesus. Now. And, uh, not to embarrass you, but if you're watching, if you're that number one, Sharonica <laughs> Riggins, <laughs> Oh, Joanne and I, we love you so much. We haven't talked to you in forever, but we love <laughs> you so much and, uh, and miss you. So I hope you're doing well. Anything else? That's it. That's good. Did you have another one? No, I do have this scripture for someone. It's Psalms 144, uh, verse 1. And it says, There is only one strong, safe, and secure place for me. Mm -hmm. And it is in God alone, and I love him. And he's the one who gives me strength and skill for the battle. And I just feel like there's someone that's going to be listening that, yeah. that this promise that your safe and secure place is in God and him alone, but that he's the one that is giving you the strength and skill for whatever battle you're in, yes. that he's the only one that's going to win the battle for you. And so we bless you in that. I just really feel like someone needs to hear that. That's so good. Um, I also uh, feel like carpal tunnel, that uh, God is wanting to heal carpal tunnel. If that is you, um, right now we just speak healing to your body in the name of Jesus. And um, we just say be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And I just saw this vision of, I don't know if they're watching now or later, but it was just that God went in with both of his hands and started kind of it was a weird picture but like almost remolding someone's brain from like emotional trauma and just really like going in and just showing you the safe parts i got a very similar word to john of just like going in showing you that everything is safe and that he is a faithful father and that he hasn't gone anywhere and uh, so, Lord, we just pray right now that so that good. that people know that God is 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 their Father, and we just pray over them Your fatherly love, Lord. And we just I feel like that someone is going to start feeling this love that they've never felt before, and it's going to feel all warm and tingly. And I just want to <laughs> let you know that that's God, and yes. it's it's not just something in your mind, and that it's really happening. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. That is so good. I think um, one of the last ones, well, I don't know. It doesn't have to be the last one. Maybe <laughs> the last one for me, but is um, I feel like there may be someone listening that you've experienced or encountered God before, like the love of Jesus, and now you've walked away from it. And I just had this sense like that all that questioning going on in your heart is God is calling you back to that time where you felt his love yeah. and he's calling you back to that place of I almost since there's been a lot of confusion and he's wanting to clear it all up by you just encountering that love of his and so it's like a remembering like I, I heard the Lord say to remember that moment you had with him years ago mm -hmm. and he's calling you back to that place with him that's so good and we just, we pray right now, just for all of us, that there would be a, um, a fresh baptism in the love of the Father tonight, just for all of us watching, that, that um, he would just pour out his love on each one of us and that we would uh, encounter him in such a deep and special way that it would be so life-changing. But I just feel that, I just feel like this, that he's pouring out his love on you tonight.
That's so good. If you are watching, if you need prayer, if you have a specific prayer need, go ahead and comment. We would love to pray for you. We've seen um, so many, we've been talking about so many different financial breakthroughs as of late. We have, we have seen just in the last week, so many financial breakthroughs, just back to back to back. So if that's you, if you're, if you're saying, Hey, I'm in a position where I am needing a financial breakthrough. I'm needing a miracle comment. If that's you, because we would love to pray for you. And if you're just wanting a prophetic word, uh, just put in the comments. That's me. I want a word. And we would love to encourage you. Right. Um, God is just, he is so good and he is so faithful. And um, it's, it's just amazing. Just so many times that I, I mean, I can speak just in my life where just right when I've needed him, right when I've needed that encouragement, right when I've needed that breakthrough, he's been there. He has been there over and over and over and over again. And, um, you know, if he's, if he's done that for me, he wants to do That's that right. for you. He will do that for you. That's right. It's, uh, I don't know. This is just so good. For the ones that may watch this not live, like still, if you want a prophetic word, leave a comment. We yes. Will, we will send you mm -hmm. one back. So yes. I just wanted to make that clear of not to watch this and be like, oh man, I missed it. <laughs> yeah. No, like we will give you a word back. I don't care if it's five days from now. Yeah. We, we will respond with a word for you. So just, just know that. Yep. And then um, the other thing that we wanted to encourage you, we've been talking about um, just at our church over the last week just that the the word of god is true that his promises are true that if he says it it will happen he does what he says he will do and so we just want to encourage you with that of anyone who may be feeling discouraged um and just just needing that encouragement but just just to speak that to you that if he said it he's going to do it um you know it may feel like it's been a long time and it's like oh his this promise or this this dream that the Lord has given me, the, these things that the Lord has spoken over my life, they're just, it's taking so long. I just don't think they're ever going to happen. Um, and just going down that road, I just want to encourage you tonight that if, if he said it, he will do it in your life. Yeah. He will do it. He does what he promises. He does what he promises. There is power in the words that are spoken by the Lord. There is sure. so much power in it. And it, it's, it's like the words, they can't help but complete what they say like like that's the power in the, his word is that he finishes everything that he starts and he he is true to every single one of his promises and he is so so faithful yeah good good yeah anyone else i'm hoping i'm assuming if we would see the comments if people were commenting so uh but um we just love you guys mm -hmm. So, I know. So Thanks much. for joining us on this journey. This has been so much fun. This uh, testimony challenge that we've been doing this month. It, it's just, it's been so much fun. And I know that it has really stirred up our faith uh, to remember the things that the Lord has done and to hear from others what the Lord has done in their life. It really has stirred up so much faith in us personally. And we are, we're praying that it's stirring up faith in, in everyone who's watching as well, that you would be encouraged, that you would be full of faith and that, and that we would all, I mean, one thing that it's doing in us is just becoming more and more expectant That's to right. see the power of the Lord. I mean, he, he is a powerful God. He does the impossible. He works miracles. Uh, you know, it's, it's something for us to, to be expectant about. And this has really been stirring our faith this, yeah. this month as we've been sharing these testimonies. So we pray that it has been for you too. It's been fun. Hey, Pam. Hey, Pam. Aw, hi. We love you so much. Aw, we love you guys. <laughs> and uh, we miss you. Guys you guys are amazing. We're, uh, pardon everybody else, we're talking to Pam. <laughs> we are way too close to each other to not see each other enough so <laughs> we got to figure it out we, yeah. we love you guys yes. very very much yes <laughs> and uh um and james if you're still watching how yes. are you doing so good to see you it is um just all the different ones yeah if you're still watching we're going to be on for just a couple more minutes but if you if you have any kind of prayer need if there's any area in your life where you're needing a miracle um, and it could be a physical miracle, healing in your body. If you're needing a financial miracle, if you're needing a relational miracle, 
whatever uh, emotional miracle, whatever kind of miracle you're needing, we would love to pray for you. So just put in the comments that uh, what, you, what you're needing. We would love to pray for you. And then if you're just wanting an encouraging word, if you're wanting a prophetic word, we would love to pray over you and encourage you. Yeah. So um, just a couple more minutes before we end, but um, just go ahead and leave a comment if you are uh, wanting any prayer or prophetic ministry. But it has been, it's just so good to see you all on here. Um, it's just been, this has been just such a blessing yeah. to it's connect fun. with so many of you. Well, while we're waiting just a few more minutes, we can just keep going. I feel like there's someone that is having um, uh, like ear pain or ear aches, or maybe mm. it's frequent ear infections. Mm -hmm. And God is wanting to heal that uh, right now. Love yeah. you too, James. Yeah. And, um, uh, but yeah, I just feel like someone that is constantly getting ear infections and the mm -hmm. Lord's wanting to heal that right now. So Mainly good. the right ear is what I'm sensing. That's so and I got, right yes. I got, I don't know how to say it, but specifically like an area in the back of your neck mm -hmm. that's been hurting or, um, that's been hurting and, or like it's swollen or I don't know, but something in the back of your neck has been hurting like towards the base and up towards yeah. So comment if that's you. Yes. yes. Now now or later, if yeah. you're watching this later. Yes, yes. Um, we just speak. If that's you, we just speak healing yeah. right now to your body in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Also, anybody with heart issues? Yeah, yeah. I had that one too. Yes. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's someone who's listening that. that has heart issues or heart yeah. conditions, um, let us know. Yeah. And, uh, we just speak to your body and say, be healed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We speak to your heart and uh, we just pray right now that the peace of heaven, the peace of heaven would just come and rest over your heart right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Um, if you've been dealing, if you've been dealing with uh, anxiety, I feel like anxiety right now that the Lord is wanting to heal anxiety. So if that is you, we uh, speak peace right now to you, to your mind and to your emotions, to your body uh, right now. And we tell all anxiety to leave in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank yep. you, Lord. Um, I also feel like there might be someone, I just turned to this in my Bible, it was the very end of Romans 8, and I literally have been giant letters written over the last few verses that love conquers but i feel like there may be someone i don't know if it's just choices you made that have been unwise and then you're feeling like you just can't get back to that love of the lord and just that the end of romans says i live with the confidence that there's nothing in the universe with the power to separate us from god's love and i'm convinced that his love will triumph over death like troubles, fallen angels, or dark rulers in the heavens. There is nothing in our present or future circumstances that can weaken his love. There is no power above us or beneath us, no power that could ever be found in the universe that can distance us from God's passionate love, so which is lavished upon us through our Lord Jesus, the Anointed One. So I just want to encourage uh, anyone that is just, I don't know, maybe feeling bad about yourself through some choices you made, is I, I guess this kind of goes back to a word I had earlier, but like I feel like God is calling people back to their first love, yeah. calling them back to their first love. So good, so good. Um, I see also if you're watching, if you have, um, I feel like there may be somebody who has um, back pain that is from a, um, an accident that there was some kind of accident and uh, you've been experiencing back pain from that. I uh, believe that the Lord is wanting to heal you. I don't know if you're watching now or if you're, wa if you're gonna be watching later, but if that is you, I believe that the Lord is, is healing you right now. We just speak to your back and say, be healed right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So good. Yes. So good. Do you know Joanna, her name yes. is? Yes, hi. Do I know Joanna? Yay, she's, she's our Facebook friend. Oh, oh, hi. with uh, GCSSM. <laughs> oh, yeah. How are you, Joanna? It's good to see you on here. Uh, it's been just, this has been so much fun, just sharing about the goodness of God and 
just how amazing he is. He's just yeah. so faithful, so good. And um, this has been a good day 15. It day has. 15 of the Testimony it's Challenge. Been wonderful. And we do, we encourage you to join this challenge with us. It is not too late nope. to get in on, on the fun of our Testimony <laughs> Challenge. Yeah. So if you haven't been watching any of these before, just a quick review of what the Testimony Challenge is is we are sharing a testimony a day uh, in March. And so what we are encouraging everyone to do, the testimony is, um, or the challenge is, is to write a testimony, just anything. It could be big, it could be small, it doesn't matter. Anything where uh, the Lord has worked something in your life, He's done something in your life, um, just the goodness of God. So write a testimony and then share it with someone. Call up a friend, call up a family member, go talk to a neighbor. I mean, it yeah. doesn't matter, but um, to write down uh, any any testimony, anything in your life that the Lord has done and then share that with, with someone. Yep, so, so good. Yes. Um, all right, we're, uh, we're good. Oh, there she is. Yes. Yes, GCS. <laughs> it just okay. took me a minute. <laughs> and, um, uh, but anyway, so we will be back on tomorrow yes. for day 16. Day 16, we're moving along. And uh, we'll have another testimony for you to share. Yep. And we love you all very much. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's my, hey, Chris, how are you? <laughs> Aw, hi. We love yes. you. Yes, it has been a long time. It has, it been. has been a long time. <laughs> it's and good thanks. to see you on here. <laughs> I can't see you, but I'm sure you're looking just as good. <laughs> Uh, but uh, but love you and uh, anyways we love you all we'll be back on tomorrow yes um, for day 16 uh, our testimonies. testimonies yes we got it we got some good ones planned over the next few days so make sure you tune in and uh, we'll see you tomorrow all right talk to you soon bye <laughs>